Hey there, it's Lauren with Bold Notion Quilting and I wanted to share with you the dream bag colors that are back in stock since Christmas. They've been gone for like five weeks. I've been out of them since before Christmas time. Um, we've got the 11 original colors back in stock and I wanted to show you some different threads, um, some different hologram threads and some different fabrics that you can match with them um, to really help you make your panel as big as you can make it. I know sometimes shopping online and even in the stores it can be really difficult to find colors that you feel comfortable that they match um, and I wanted to show you some cool ones that you can use. So our first panel, this one is called Ivory. It's like a yellowish cream um, warm neutral color. Three colors that match well with it is the white, the linen, and the pearl. Now these Panels and threads and kits can all be purchased on my website on boldnotionquilting.com and you can get them as just a thread kit if you've already got some of the panel colors that I'm showing you. You can get them as just the panel or you can get them together as a panel and thread kit combined. You save a little bit of money on the kit. If you wanted to accent this panel with some really pretty like hologram type shiny thread in there. We've got a hologram white that actually matches really nicely. It's almost kind of clear silver that just kind of adds a glitter and a shine to it. Something great for you to use when you're using this for a wall hanging um, or if you've already got some stabilization quilting with the 40 weight colors that come in the kit but I wouldn't use a hologram thread to quilt it all over and then give it as a gift because it's not strong enough to hold it um, as a stable just quilt top that you're going to use for everyday use unless you've quilted it a lot with the other threads. So some different colors of fabric that you can match with this. I have a 108 grunge cream color and it's got um, the light and dark accent colors of the panel in it. And then I really love this grunge vanilla because there's a lot less gray in the vanilla than the grunge cream and it's got the um, really light colors and then the medium and the dark color hues as the panel as well and it just matches really nicely. You can accent this panel with um, jaded jewel tone colors. So I really love adding this like Everglade, Everglade cream co uh, green color to it or this really deep rich like nocturne blue color looks really nice. Also, if you like the, this is a grunge confetti indigo color. It goes from a really deep blue to a lighter blue. And it actually looks really nice with the panel. The cool thing about these ombre confettis is that they go from dark to light, just like our panels go from dark to light to dark. These accent it in the same way. So when you put one of these as one of your border fabrics, it really draws the eye around the whole quilt and really adds neat little accents all around. Next, we have our opal panel. This was my daughter's favorite. I quilted this one up for her for Christmas. We've got six different colors that go with your opal panel. We've got the blossom, the strawberry blonde. Okay, it matches the middle colors. We've got the mint to match the color on the outside, the cloud blue, the peacock, and the amethyst for the purples. So those are all the different colors for the opal panel. Again, you can get these as just a thread kit, just the panel, or as a complete kit. Some different hologram threads that you could use or variegated threads. Um, the baby shower is all pinks and blues and purples, so that would be really nice for just even the whole most outer edge of your panel. The quilt was something like that. Or you can get the lilac to do on some of the purple areas. You could get the hot pink to do an accent in some of these really deep pretty accent areas around here or the pink to do in all of the petals even anywhere from here to here for the medium colors. And then if you really wanted to accent the middle you could use a gold to really just shine that up and add some different pretty colors to it. Some different fabrics that you can use that would match the opal panel well. Um, you've got the ombre peach, which is a little more muted. It really plays down the color of the panel. It doesn't make it too vibrant in your face. 
You've got, this is called Freesia. It matches really nicely with the different purples and pinks in the color. The cool thing about Grunge is that it's got these brush strokes of darker purples and pinks and lighter purples that help it to really blend with a multitude of colors. That's why I like to use Grunge for like all my memory quilts because you can really use it for a lot of different things. I like the Lupine for this as well. To me it looks like cotton candy. Um, it's just a lot of pinks and purples and blues. You could use the Grunge Grape, which matches nicely with these medium purples in here very well. You can use the Mint, which matches great with these outer colors. It's the, I'm sorry, this is the Ombre Mint, so it goes from light to dark. Or the Grunge Raspberry, that really matches nicely with um, the accent hot pinks in the middle. You could also use, and this is, actually this isn't the one I used, but I used the Ombre Confetti Magenta for my little border. And my daughter is really into green, so I used the mint for the outer border, and it just turned out really nicely. We put a Ninja Turtle back on the back of it. Another really pretty color that you can use to accent that is the turquoise grunge because it matches so nicely with the blue in here. And again, I like to mix and match and I do like one skinny border and one fat border with mine just to accent it. It ends up being about 64 inches wide. Then you've got the French blue, which I love. I've got three different colors that match the French blue. We've got the Grunge Cosmic, which matches really nicely with these medium hues in the middle. And then the 44 inch wide cream. Now it's important that you get the 44 inch wide cream and not the 108 cream because the 44 inch wide is a little more yellow. It's a little more warm and rich, just like the center of this panel. So it actually picks up and works nicely. So you can see how you can use those together. Also, the Vanilla Grunge I really like because it kind of gives it like a cool, crisp, airy, finished look with the Vanilla and the Cosmic Blue. The thread colors that you're going to want to use are Khaki for the middle, Cream for these lighter areas, Mercury for the really light blue, Azure for the medium blue, and then Tropical for the darker outer blues. If you click on the description on BoldNotionQuilting.com for any of these panels, if you click on the name of it, you'll get a description, and in that description should have a list of all the thread colors and all the fabric colors that match it as well. Then we've got the Prism. This is my husband's favorite. He likes the really bright rainbow colorfulness of the panel. And so for this one, uh, before I didn't have a whole lot of colors that match it, but now I do. You can use the Grunge Grape or Grape Stars, and it matches perfectly with that outer purple ring. Okay, And it's got hints and hues of pinks in it, so it picks up on the other colors in the panel as well. You can use the Scarlet, which picks up nicely on the really dark accent red color. Tangerine Stars, which picks up on the darker and lighter versions of the orange. Looks really nice. Flamingo, which picks up on the transitional areas between the red and the pink. It's a little bit brighter. I really like the way that it looks. Or, where is that? Russet. You could use Russet, and it kind of picks up on the lighter colors, the orange, as well as the red color in the panel as well. So it actually looks really nice. The colors of thread that match with this are these. I lost one. You've got robin egg for the center, turf for the green, 
Viking for the purples, Bombay for the dark blue, Desire for the red, Oriole for the orange, and Lemon for the yellow. Again, you, and this is just a great thread kit to have, but you can get this just as a thread kit, just as a panel, or as a complete kit with thread and panel only. And then you can pick accent fabrics if you need fabrics to make your panel a little bit bigger so that you can use it or have a bigger wall hanging. Um, some, I'm sorry, before I move that on, some different accent threads that you can use with it. We've got a really pretty green metallic color that you can use for the center to really brighten that up. Then you could probably use the gold where the yellow and the orange transition as well. Then we've got our teal panel. This is my favorite. I think it would look best in my house, which is probably why I like it the most. Um, but teal's got some pretty colors in it. You've got Pacific for the middle. And then you've got a lighter blue robin egg for the medium color. Transitions into a really green blue lagoon that transitions into a Captain's Navy really dark color for the outer border. Or I guess outer petals, I should say. If you wanted to use one thread or use variegated threads to work with this panel, this Mediterranean variegated thread, um, it's under the specialty threads on the website in the product section. It would look really good outside of this middle light color. So the, the um, variegated thread would look really nice all the way around in the darker, the medium areas. Some fabrics that look great with this. You've got the peacock blue that picks up on all these really dark and medium colors here. This is a 108, which would be great for a backing if you needed a backing for it. The ombre turquoise and the horizon blue are like my favorite pairing for this. I love this because the horizon blue has these really, really dark notes of color in it that are more like this color blue, but this darkness, so it just really picks it up and ties it all together. And then, if you wanted to be living on the edge, there are some really pretty digital print peacock fabrics that I just got in that just really make this panel pop. So, you could use these peacock feathers and the horizon blue and that would look really nice and then you've just added a ton of color, a ton of purple in there. Instead of using the horizon, you could use these really dark peacock feathers, a turquoise peacock. Or the lighter teal peacock feathers. And then there's also this accent fabric with smaller feathers that you could use in there as well. I could just really lighten it up and give it a different look. But it's neat to have some different options for what you could use. Then we have our Wild Rose. That's the color of this pink one. You can use the Ombre Peach. This is my favorite pairing combination. And then the Grunge Ash Rose is amazing. I love this one because it's got flecks of orange in it already and the really deep um, ash pink color and that can really play into the panel well and it is actually this medium color matches perfectly with it so it pairs nicely to have this as an accent stripe border and then this is like a bigger border just to make it a little bit bigger so you can use it for different things we've got different colors that you can use for the panel we've got a purple rose pink rose salmon peach strawberry blonde and cantaloupe okay and i wanted to give you some different options so you could decide to make your center more bright by using the cantaloupe you could play it down by using the peach if you want and then you can use the salmon uh, or the strawberry blonde and these other areas to accent if you wanted to use another specialty thread for this or to really make the colors pop you could use the hologram gold for the center Okay. And then you could probably get away with using this light pink color, although it's not a perfect match for the hue, but you could probably get away with using it in these medium petals in this middle layer. Let's see the dark one. The dark one might be better to use 
in the darker outer areas as well. Then we have our onyx panel. It's black and white. It's great for a neutral or a modern home. Great gift if you need to make something for someone for a wedding. I really like the idea of accenting the onyx panel with some jewel tones, just like the ivory one, just to kind of like mix and match and really like brighten it up. And you could match that with a jewel tone and then do like a ombre graphite with it. Or maybe even an ombre onyx, that looks really sharp. So that could be something really fun to do together to, for the pairing. We have also a grunge gray paper. If you want to keep it neutral and all grays, blacks, and whites looking, you can use the gray paper, which matches really nicely with the center flower, and then use the ombre confetti onyx. I really liked this pairing with the panel because it keeps that kind of like, it almost looks like a night sky as a border around it, like stars. You've got a 108 grunge dot that you can use. I use this for my backing. Or you can use onyx, which I have in 108 now, and or in the 44 inch wide. And then there's also a graphite confetti that you can use with it too. And if you really wanted to brighten it up, I have a grunge white paper that you could use for like a one inch accent strip. And then you could put something like the graphite next to it to darken it and lighten it back up. The color threads that you're going to use for this are the Cool Gray 3, Cool Gray 9, lead gray for those really dark mediums in the back there, and then shadow for the accent corners and petals in the back. If you wanted to, I've got a zebra and, or I want to say it's called charcoal um, variegated thread that you can use to just quilt all around the whole thing if you really like variegated threads. The variegated threads are in this specialty section on the products page. They're not with all the regular 40, um, 40 weight threads, but it is a variegated poly thread. Uh, I want to say it's one inch color repeats. If you're used to buying variegated, you'll know what that means. And then um, it is a polyester thread, so it's not cotton. Next we have our orchid panel, which I really love the center of this. I like accenting panels, if you couldn't tell, with some of the hints and pops of colors in the panel. So I would use like this grunge papaya punch color to really accent it as like a small narrow border. Then I'd probably grab the grate and do that alongside it. Or let's see what a ombre magenta would look like. That might actually look pretty cool because it keeps it all kind of rich and deep. There's that um, really faint accent color of the dark pink grunge in there. So the raspberry grunge looks really nice as well. And if you wanted to, you could probably use the ombre aubergine with it as well. And you can see how that keeps it like rich and dark and intense. Um, this is the ombre color too. As opposed to using other colors that would look nice with it, like this one is called Freesia, and it picks up on all of these really lighter colors. So maybe a Freesia and then this. The ombre aubergine, that looks really nice. There's all different kinds of things that you can do and sometimes it makes a difference for what you're going to use as a small accent border versus like a big fat border. Because if this was your accent and then this was your big border, you look at that and you're like, mm, that doesn't look quite right. But if you pair them the opposite way, it gives a break between the panel and the border and it allows you to see more of a whole design for your quilt top. Did I go over the colors? I did not. So the different thread colors that you'll need for your orchid kit. 
You've got peacock, which is like a pink purple color in the middle. You've got lavender, amethyst, so lavender is more of this. You've got grape, and you've got um, salmon to match these really deep orange colors, and then you've got cantaloupe in the middle. And it all just works really nicely once it's all stitched out. Now I did this as a free motion quilt along on my website in the class catalog. You can actually learn to quilt all the different sections of the petals and quilt them out. There's eight different options for what you can quilt for the petals and you can mix or match them based on what you like and what your preferences are. You'd be surprised at how different everyone's panels look because they don't use just my designs, they incorporate some of their own as well. This color is Tide Pool. I really love this panel because it's really versatile. You can make the panel appear more green or more blue based on the accent of the threads as well as um, the fabrics that you use to go with it. So there's a Robinade Blue, there's a Cool Mint, Magic Mint, I'm sorry, this is Magic Mint, this is Cool Mint, and Kiwi. If you wanted a variegated thread to use in the blue section, this seafoam color actually looks really nice in accents. It's got um, hints of green, light blue, and dark blue in it. And for this, for the pool, tide pool, I like the ombre turquoise and the ombre teal paired together. I like it actually better with the green to separate, so it goes green, blue, green, blue, and that looks really nice. You can get the pool grunge in the 108 or the 44 inch, so this is a great backing. And I did just get a ton of this in. I've been out of it for a while and everyone's been asking for it, so I anticipate this being something that everybody wants to get. So this makes a really great backing for it. And I now have 90 inch minky cuddle soft fabrics. So depending on who you're making the kit for, this could make a really great backing for someone. Um, for my daughter, I put a minky ninja turtle on the back of hers and she loves it. For the onyx panel, I also have this gray 90 inch charcoal minky fabric as well, which I love. And then if you wanted to put white on the back of a quilt, I've got a white in the one away with all of the gray that really matches the onyx panel too. Then we've got fire, which is so vibrant and so rich and so warm. Um, it's got a couple different colors of thread. We've got marigold for the middle, it's really bright. We've got a canary for the outer petals. Oriel for the orange and desire for the, oh, that's imperial red for the red. And then if you're into the variegated threads, again, a variegated thread match for this would be the sunset color. And you could use that for anything, again, that isn't in this um, medium light color range right in here. It's great for the medium dark color range on the outside. Some different fabrics that you can use, and you can see I have a border attached to it already. I used it um, to do a demo for how to attach the borders. And if you're taking the um, online free motion quilts along class, I do show you how to attach ombre borders so you can get that dark to light effect and really get it all the way around your whole panel. So for fire, we've got this really pretty russet color that looks nice with the panel and it's got those really dark hints of red. You've got the ombre confetti mustard. Let's see if scarlet matches. I mean, it's close, but it's not quite right. And then if you don't like the gold dots and don't want to do the ombre confetti, you could do just the mustard. And if you're really brave and like to mix things up, the, um, the jade, no, the jade isn't quite right. It's the Everglade. I really like the way that the drill tones will work with this one as well. So you could mix the orange with the green and do an Everglade. Or, if you're a Gators fan, get more into those dark blue colors. This one is the Nocturne. And we could see what the navy would look like 
with it as well. The navy is a little bit more blue, not as bright. And that looks really nice. So you could do like the orange and then the Everglade and then the ombre confetti or the mustard. Those would look really nice together. All right, so now for the whole shebang. So this is the Aurora panel. This one I love. I selected it to do it as the sample on my free motion quilt along. So this is the Dream Big free motion quilt along on my website. So all the different textures and colors and everything that you see here is actually how the class is broken down and I teach you how to do like each individual petal, each individual element, and then all the different combinations to make each petal, then how to go from one petal to the next, as well as support for how to put on borders and how to do all the designs in my borders that I've done. So for this panel, you've got five different colors. You've got the cool mint for the middle. You could sub substitute that for a magic mint if you prefer the magic mint color. You've got a Bombay for the dark blue, a Damson for the medium purple, a Raven for the dark purple, and a Robin egg for the um, medium blue. And I, when I quilted my quilt, I used every single one of these colors to quilt it. I liked switching the threads. I could have done without switching some of them. Um, but for me, I liked that I could use the dark blue to stitch really dense stitching on the same colors. So for those areas that you really want to fill it out and get that dense stitching, you're going to want those colors to really match so that it plays into your panel um, and makes it look uh, a little more cohesive and finished when it's all done. Again, if you already have these, uh, some of these panels, you can get those as just a thread kit, just a panel, or as the thread kit and panel combined. For my colors, for this panel, I chose a ombre turquoise to do the smaller accent border, and then the ombre, I used a grunge turquoise for the accent border and an ombre magenta for the inner border. But you can see how the um, ombre magenta confetti would look really nice too. Or if you wanted to get the ombre turquoise color, that would look great in place of the grunge turquoise. Let's see what the aubergine looks like next to this. I'm not sure that would be my first choice to use, but it might look really nice if you picked the right inner border color. Now we've got these really pretty peacock fabrics that are in, so let's see what those look like next to it. I probably could use this with this panel, but I would have to separate it with a blue. And I bet if you use the horizon blue, it would separate a little bit better. So you could really darken up the border and really draw your eye to the inside of the panel where all the bright colors are if you use something that's a little more rich and intense on the outside. Want to make sure I didn't forget anything. So that's it for me. These are all of the panels that we have in stock now. There are 11 different colorways. They're all on boldnotionquilting.com under the products section. Uh, where I have all the different products and notions and thread and everything. There is a specific category for Dream Big. So if you click on category, click Dream Big, and click search, it'll pull up all of the Dream Big panels, thread kits, and everything that are available. Um, anything that says February, I will not have now, and I won't be able to hold any orders until then. Um, but right now, we have all the 11 colors, the original colors, in stock. So go ahead on there and take a look. And let me know if you have any questions, feel free to email me at boldnotionquilting at gmail.com. If you weren't sure um, about any yardage or anything that you need, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Take care and happy quilting.